and welcome to Piper's Petals, your DIY for all things floral. Today we're going to work on a simple fall bud vase that I think that you're going to love. So stay tuned. Today's DIY is all about making a simple bud vase. So today I'm going to make a bud vase using fall flowers. I love making bud vases because they are great gifts to give somebody. You can make 10 of these and give them to 10 different people. You can give them to neighbors. They're great gifts to do. They cost less than buying a gift bag and the paper before you even buy the gift and it just lifts spirits up. So I'm going to make a fall bud vase today and all it's going to take is my bud vase vase, of course. You can find bud vases at the Dollar Tree or you can go to your local thrift stores, probably find them for a quarter or at a garage sale if you want to uh, invest in going to those places some time and pick up some other vases while you're at it for other projects. And then we're just going to need some greenery and our flowers. So for my greenery, I have some leather leaf fern. This is standard in the industry at the flower shop. You can go and buy a bunch from your flower shop. It's usually 20 stems uh, per bunch. If you can't find the leather leaf, um, you can always use some things from your yard. Just be careful that you wash the uh, greenery off. Make sure there's no bugs going through it. You can use different things like uh, Boston fern, for example, Pittosporum, uh, asparagus fern, anything like that that you want to use for a greenery. And that goes great as well. Um, but I would recommend if you're going to do the bud vases, kind of make a list out, maybe see some people that you want to, or you can decorate your own home and make lots of little bud vases, put them around the house in your bedroom, your kitchen, give some away as gifts. And the leather leaf will store in your refrigerator for uh, at least a week. So if you don't use it all, put it in there, find another project and use it on up. So the other thing that I have, of course, is the flowers that I'm going to be using, and I am going to be using um, fall daisies. I love daisies because they last a long time. You can certainly use whatever flowers you want to. You could do a rosebud vase, um, you could do a sunflower, whatever kind of flowers that you want to do. If you're going to use multiple flowers in a bud vase, then you do want to get go to, to a triple bud vase, which is a larger size vase, depending on how many flowers that you want to use. So you can purchase your daisies use of course at the flower shop. Uh, grocery stores of course carry lots of flowers. You can pick up a bunch from there pretty inexpensively and use them from there. The daisies and some of the different flowers from the uh, grocery store of course. Just count your stems. You want to have as many bud vases as stems if you're going to use that. Daisies come in by weight, so it's not always the same amount of stems sometimes if you buy them from your local florist. So, first we, what we're going to do is get all of our flowers out here, out of the packaging. Okay, so here's what we're going to need for this project. You're going to need the leather leaf and the flower of your choice, which mine are the daisies, as I said before. As far as your tools are going to go, you're going to need a knife. If you are not good at using a knife, um, you can get these um, little cutters at the Dollar Tree. These work great for cutting. That way you don't cut your hands. You're going to need your wire cutters and scissors. You're also going to need some wire for your ribbon and the ribbon that you're going to use. And your butt vase, of course, with water in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the leather leaf. And basically you want to do two and a half times your container two to two and a half times your container. And what I like to do is I don't like to show the greenery inside the bud vase. So I'm going to start peeling a little bit of greenery off here. And I'm going to cut at an angle into my leather leaf. That's very important to always cut at an angle when you're using fresh flowers. This way it picks up water or starts drinking water. So I'm going to put my first piece in and that looks like the right height to me. And then I'm going to do a second piece in front of it. So once again, I'm going to pull off a few of those stems and don't throw away these stems because these you can save and you can use them to make an arrangement. Don't waste anything that you don't have to. And once again, I'm going to give it a little cut and an angle and I'm going to put my next piece right in front. 
So you have your one here, which is about two times the size of the container, and then your next piece is going to help secure the flower. Then I like to put one piece in the back and it helps hold the flower in place. So again, I'm going to pull these little edges off, cut at the angle, and now I'm on the back and I'm going to put a piece in the back. So three pieces of my greenery. And that's all we have to do to green it. Now if you don't like the height of your leather leaf, you can adjust it to where you would like to. I like mine a little bit squattier than having it way up here. Um, so just adjust it to where you think it looks nice. Next I'm going to take my flower, which I'm going to use a daisy. And this has a lot of little daisies on it, so I'm just going to take a few of these off. And you want to make sure that you also take the leaves off of your stem. The leaves inside the water will start to rot, so you do not want that happening in your water. So take those leaves off. You may not have the leaves if your flowers have already been cleaned properly. And leave on as many daisies as you would like to see in the bud vase. Make sure that all the petals are nice. If you have one that's not looking too good, you can go ahead and take it off. I think that one's okay. And once again, I'm going to probably want to put my daisy about here. So just a little bit underneath my leather leaf. And always chop it longer because you can always make it shorter. You cannot make it longer. So I'm going to go about here. And if you need to leave it longer at first, that's fine. And then I'm just going to put my flower in between the front piece and the second piece of leather leaf. All right. So let me look at this and make sure I have it where I like it. So I now have the daisy in there. Now at this point, if you wanted to put in some filler flower like baby's breast, solidago, status, any kind of uh, filler that you would like, you could do that. You could put in cattails, wheat, anything that you want to. I'm not going to put any filler in mine right now. I'm going to add a bow and then I'm going to add a silk um, fall leaf. So your bud vase is basically done. So we did do a video on bows. You want to check that out. Um, if you don't know how to make a bow, I'm going to do a simple shoe tie bow to put on here. So once again, I'm going to pull my ribbon out and I'm just going to make a loop. I'm going to half twist and I'm going to bring that loop back to me and make a half twist. And then I'm going to make sure that my streamers are about the same size and I'm going to cut. And I'm going to take a piece of wire. And like I said, you can go to our other video if you've not made a bow before. Please do ha learn how to make bows. You'll be surprised at how many things you can do with them. And I'm going to take that piece of wire, go right in the middle of my bow, and twist it around. I'm going to make sure that my loops are equal. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little angle upwards. Oops. Sometimes these ribbons can be a, a pain to cut, so make sure that your scissors are sharp. What all I'm doing is taking the ribbon, I'm folding it in half, the pieces together, and I'm going upwards on a diagonal, like I'm cutting out a triangle almost. And that's going to give me a little dovetail. All right, and so there's my little ribbon, and I'm just going to put it in the front of my bud vase. Now you can put it on a pick if you want to, um, but I think if you do a long enough piece of wire, then you don't have to worry about having that pick. But if it's easier for you, you can put it on a pick if you like. All right, so I have that bow now in place. And then, like I said, if you want a filler, you could use filler. What I'm going to do to make it a little bit more folly is I'm going to just use a silk fall leaf. You can also use real fall leaves if you want. You could put a pumpkin pick in it, whatever that you want to do. I just kind of like the look of the fall leaves. And there you go. It's a simple bud vase. 
ready to go to friends. If you want to, you can do like a little uh, curly ribbon with it and maybe hang it down off your fall leaf with a little card, cut out a little construction paper card and put their name on it and whatever you'd like to say to them. All right, and that's it for our fall bud vase. Such a pretty gift to give anybody, your neighbors, your friends as gifts. Like I said, it's less expensive to do this than it is to get the gift bag and the wrapper cost-wise. And if you do find that bow wiggling around on you in the front, do get some picks. You can find these at Hobby Lobby and just put that pick around the wire or the wire around the pick and put that on and then just put this down into your water and it'll secure it better in place for you. And that is our simple fall bud vase. It is so pretty. It is great to give as a gift. And like I said, it costs less than buying the paper and the bag from the Dollar Tree. And you can do plenty of these. You can do 10 of these at a time. Get your money's worth out of that um, bunch of daisies that you got or what you got at the grocery store. Just break them up, even if it's just for you. Enjoy the luxury of having flowers around your house in every room. Also, if you do find that your bow is wiggling around, don't forget, go get a pick from the Hobby Lobby. They sell these in bags, and you can always just work your bow around the pick, and it will secure it a little bit better. I thank you so much for joining us for this DIY here on Piper's Petals. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.